resurrection and the life said the Lord he that believeth in me though he were dead yet shall he live and whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die I know that my redeemer liveth and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth no after my skin worms destroy this body. Yet in my flesh shall I see God. Whom I shall see for myself. And mine eyes shall behold and not another. Though my reins be consumed within me. For we brought nothing into this world. And it is certain we can carry nothing out. The Lord gave and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusted in thee. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He also is become my salvation. 
Amen. You may be seated. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. We come at this time to, to celebrate and remember the life of Miss Mitchell. Amen. Can we just give God praise for the life? to share with her family and friends. So at this time, we're going to have an opening opening prayer. We're going to we're going to ask Minister Austin if he would give us the opening prayer since Elder Galloway will be giving our eulogy. Amen. To come and give us our opening prayer. Then we have a selection by Allison Thomas and Julian Kennedy. And after the selection, our scriptures coming from Mr. Torrance Williamson, our Old and New Testament. And then we will come with the prayer of, of comfort. Amen. Let us bow our heads. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. Father, now we come before you now. Before we ask you of anything, we come to tell you thank you. Thank you, God, for allowing us this moment, God, to remember her life, God. God, I ask that you touch this family right now, God, as they grieve and as they go through and begin to ask the questions, why, God? Comfort them now, God. Give them a peace of mind that will surpass all understanding, God. And God, where they may be weak, remind them that the joy of the Lord is their strength. And God, I pray now that even in the days to come, when the phone calls stop coming in, when people stop asking how they're doing, that you will stay near to the brokenhearted God. And God, we ask right now that you'll continue to walk with them, continue to talk with them, and continue to remind them that you have everything under control. God, we thank you, we magnify you, we glorify you, God. And this is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let me rest in the 
Differently, there would be 
no hurt, no pain, no disappointment. Of these things, my life would be scot free. soon cut off and we fly away who knows the power of your anger for as a fear of you so is your wrath so teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom and if you shall go with me to the New Testament in the book of 
Philippians, are we coming from chapter 4? Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are good of report, if there is any virtue and if there is any praise worthy, meditate on these things. Let God add a blessing to his red word. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come first of all to tell you thank you. Uh, we thank you for uh, the life and the legacy of Miss Renetta Mitchell. God, we pray that you comfort her children, comfort her family. God, we pray you strengthen them. Keep them covered under your precious blood. Lord, we know the days ahead is going to get kind of hard when they miss mother and miss, miss a family member, but God let them know that you are in control of it all and you got them. Uphold them, let them hold on to the memories that they have of Miss Mitchell. And God continue to bless them, continue to let them know they have the memories they can live on and her legacy will live on through them. God, we pray that you continue to bless, bless this service, bless this celebration. Bless the speaker. Bless Elder Galloway. Touch her as she come to give us a word of comfort to this family. God, we pray you strengthen her to deliver what you have to say to the people here waiting. We thank you and we give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Can we put our hands together and give the Lord Amen. Amen. At this time, it calls for Acknowledgements, acknowledgements at this time. If someone was designated to read cards, I ask you to come at this time if there's any. Okay. All right, if not, it's time for the poem and the obituaries. Read Sally. We're going to ask Brother Julie if he gives us some music as we read the obituary silently along with the poem.
Amen. Amen. Part of that poem said, for this is a journey that we all must take and each one must go alone. It's all a part of the master's plan, a step on the road to home. So this is a life, this is part of life that we all gonna have to travel one day. That's right. That's right. But it behooves us to be ready when our name, our name is called. That's right. So at this time we have remarks and the family are asking for three minutes on, on your remarks. I'm here presiding, so I will help you in case you lose track of time. Uh, we have three minutes, yes. yes. Is that all right? Those who have remarks, we ask you to come at this time. I just want to tell the family, the earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. Amen. That's right. Amen. When mother isn't there, you can call on the Lord. When your friends are not there, call on the Lord. Yes. Amen. No matter what you, you have done in your past, there's nothing the Lord won't forgive you for. That's right. Amen. Amen. So talk to you, you can always, you can always call, call on, on the Lord. At this time, we're going to prepare ourselves to hear a word coming from Elder Galloway, who's going to, she can't preach nobody into heaven or hell. You live your eulogy the way you live. But she's going to talk to those of us who are living. And she's going to come at this time after a musical selection coming from uh, Sister Allison Thomas and Brother Julian Kennedy. Um, then the, the next, what you're going to hear will be that of Elder Ailey's Galloway. I 
I've been knowing her since she was a child. She had come, used to come to my house and stay all night. I always, we always called her Nita. That was her name, and to this day, that still is her name to me, yes. Nita and Shazim. Mm -hmm. They were two great children, and I'm so sorry I have to stand here my God, my God. for this reason. But since I have to, I want to ask all of you a question out there. Are you in the will? Come on. Amen. Come on. Are you in the will? Come on. The will of God. Amen. I want you to go with me to act, excuse me, 12 and 14. And when we heard these things, both we and they of, of that place besought him not to go up to Jerusalem. Then Paul answered, What mean ye to weep and to break mine heart? For I am ready, ready not to be bound only, but also to die at Jerusalem for the name of the Lord Jesus. And when we would not be persuaded, we cease saying, the will of the Lord be done. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask you, are you in the will? Are you in the will? Benita, she's gone on to be in the will of God. We are still here today. But are you in the will? Seek God and God only. Why go to church if you're not going to do it? The word of God. Right Why talk about him to someone else if you're not living? Right Get in the will of God. You know, I'm so glad that over 40 some years ago, almost 50, God found me and brought me in the will. And I'm so grateful. If you ever hear of my home going, it's well with my soul. Uh -huh. Are you in the will? Uh -huh. Need them. And, and her sister Charlene, they were two sweet children. And when Benita, would, they come and stay sometime at night, it was all right with me. Being a young mother, I love children. And it was all right with me. But the most thing they would offer, they gave the utmost respect to their elders. Today, young people are not giving that respect to elders now. But it's all right. It's in God's hand. So I'm asking all of you, Benita's going on. Are you in the will? Search yourself. Stop talking about each other and search yourself. Make sure you are right before you can see somebody else. Are you in the will? The will of God that brought us here. The will of God going to take us away from here. But are you in his will when he call you home? We talk about each other. Run each other down. Let's stop. If Benita was here, she would talk to me and she'd look at me and smile. You right. You're right, Grandma. You're right. But I thank God for being here, but I hate I'm here for this reason. Charlene, it's going to be all right, baby. It's going to be all right. God's got it. She's in God's hand. And the same debt she paid, we all will pay. But make sure we in the will. Hallelujah. Make sure we in the will. The will of God. The will, the only will. That's going to get you to heaven. Uh -huh. You can talk about them in the will, but you better make sure you're in the will. Uh -huh. Rest, Benita, because it's all right. Go ahead on and sleep. I want to see you one day in the will of God. Uh -huh. I'm going on to tell all of you all. Don't worry about her. She's all right. But check your own self out and make sure that you're in the will. I'm so glad that God called me one day to be real. I haven't always been in the word of God, but I thank God he brought me out. But need us sleep long, baby. We're going to meet you one day where God is in heaven and not in hell. Church, stop playing with God. People get real with God. It's time out for all this falseness. It's time Read it and ask God what is his 
will. Then get down in his will. I want y'all to know, Shazim, you're going to be all right. Just keep on praying and talking to God. Church, I love Benita. I loved her because they gave me nothing but the utmost respect. Children, young people today, I want to say this to you. Be more respectful to your parents, people, adults, period. Old or young, be more respectful. And you'll be surprised where you'll go. Are you in the wheel? God bless you. Amen. Are you in the wheel? We are going to open up the doors before we turn this part over to uh, the morticians. We want to extend the invitation to Christ today before we leave. There may be one who doesn't know the Lord as your Savior. What better time than now? To receive Jesus as your Savior. The Bible said if you just believe in your heart, confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, that he died and God raised him from the grave, the Bible says thou shalt be saved. It's a believing thing. I tell my church all the time that there's days I don't feel saved. When I wake up with aches and pain, things life brings you, like days like this when I lost my mother. I didn't feel saved when my mama died. But I'm not saved off my feelings. I'm saved off what I believe. And I believe Jesus died for me. I believe God raised him from the grave. We are saved off our belief. Is there one today you want to give your life to Christ? Today is your day. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, again we come to tell you thank you. I pray for my brother, my sister, who have not received your saving grace. God, I pray you continue to touch at their hearts to they come saying, Lord, what must I do to be saved? God, cover this family. Continue to strengthen them during the days ahead. Let them hold on to the memories of their loved one. Thank you for the word today to stay in your will. And God, touch Ellen Galloway. Give her a double portion of your strength that she have poured out today. We thank you. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. It's in the hands of our morticians at this time. Your presence, God. We ask again that you continue to 
Keep this family covered. Continue to strengthen them as the days are here. And we thank you. And now may the grace of our Lord, Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet communion of his Holy Spirit, may he rest, rule, and abide with each one of us. Hence now and forevermore. And everybody said amen. amen. Thank you.